How similar are Italian American accents to actual Italian ESL speaking English? Ooh, that depends. There's so many different Italian American accents and it changes depending on how many generations down people are. So the Italian American accent is, is born from, you know, people who they themselves spoke Italian and learned English. And then uh, the next generation down, people where their parents were from Italy, but they themselves were born in America and raised in America. They retained certain quirks of the accent, but removed others. So the typical stereotypical thing saying where they're like, I like it a pizza, the, that uh, I like uh, that uh added to the end of a word. I find that that only persists in people who are actually from Italy for the most part and people who are, you know, next gen down and beyond all don't do that. That comes directly from speaking a lot of Italian, but they keep a lot of the way they pronounce vowels. So it's just certain quirks like that that go away. Italy itself has a lot of different accents. That's true, though a lot of the stereotypes Typical wow. Italian Americans you'll hear speaking in, in media and stuff. Most of them are from families that came from Sicily. Most of them. That or um, there are a lot of families that are from uh, Naples. But but most of them, they have Sicilian relatives. So that's that's mostly what you're hearing. But but uh, yeah, Italy itself, yeah, it should, the, the accents do change up so much. So it's, it's hard because you'll have one group of people goes to New York and then a different group of Italians goes to Chicago and then a different group of Italians goes here and there. It just, yeah, they're the very different groups going to different places too. So it affects things like the, the Chicago Italian American accent is different from the New York Italian American accent, but then also different parts of Brooklyn, different neighborhoods have different people from different places. It just, I don't know, it's just, it's just all over full-blown dialects within Italy. Oh yeah, I, I, I had some family members that would say some words that I thought were real words. And then I'd say something to someone who was Italian. I'd be like, do you know what this is? And they'd be like, what? <laughs> what, what is that? And I'm like, oh, right. It's one of those things. I, I can't even differentiate because I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know myself. I just know what I've heard, right? <laughs> so yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's difficult to discern if you yourself are not like completely fluent, so. We say Brooklyn Italian Americans are like a variant species of Italian American. The Italy they represent is not on any map. It lives in their heart. <laughs> the, <laughs> I'm telling you, the, the fucking Brooklyn Italian community is funny as fuck. I also really like, um, got a lot of friends that are old Bronx Italians. So the Bronx is not like primarily Italian anymore, but there were certain areas that were, and that were very mob controlled, some blocks. And, um, a lot of people that I know are from that older generation that all kind of grew up around in and around the areas of the Bronx that were very Italian and they have this really distinct, really distinct accent. And it's, uh, there's some actors, I'm trying to think, there's some actors that have that exact Italian American New York accent, but specifically like the, the, the Bronx one. You said your great grandma's from the Venice area, she had a distinct accent, but your grandma doesn't have that accent and your mom wouldn't even learn Italian. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you're, if you're a lot of generations down to it, uh, it changes it a lot because then yeah i think i think the big difference for a lot of people is did you have a lot of people in your family that actively spoke italian or were from there did, did you go back and visit family there or not you know did did you just were you like many generations down and uh you've retained some culture and food stuff but not really like language related stuff it, it all it all affects how you speak for sure I'm gonna bring back the 1930s newscaster accent oh yeah the transatlantic one <laughs> I thought about that and I was like, what if a really cool exercise would be to try to immerse yourself in it? Let's say you're a streamer. Take time off of streaming. Just watch media from that time and attempt to speak like that at all times. Get a group of like three people that all do this. So they all speak to each other in a way that sounds like that and see if you can really keep it up and then stream like that. Come back after a month sounding like a whole new person with an accent that isn't even real. <laughs> I wonder how long people would readjust back or could they, could they like keep it up? To talk like that is easy and hilarious. Yeah, but to keep it up all the time and not slip out of it. I just think it would be funny if some people tried it. I would love to see it. There's a study done on Antarctic Arctic researchers isolated from the rest of the world for a winter. They created their own accent over time from a mix of accents of the researchers. Ooh, yeah. Hey, good example that you've probably seen of this. The fucking Valorant accent. The streamer Valorant accent. No one spoke like this. No one spoke like this, except for a couple people that just kind of blended their accents together. And now people hear it on streams and kids start talking like that. That shit's like the transatlantic accent, right? It just kind of became born of some people's choices. And, and you know, except instead of people training this, they're actually just picking it up. 
What up, do you uh, mean uh, by that? Uh? <laughs> Isn't it crazy how much people like? Uh, I don't know.